hello guys uh, in this video i will show you how you can install mongodb current version in windows 11 machine so to begin with open any of your favorite browser i am using chrome and just simply search for mongodb and the very first link is the official link open it and in the products tab go to the community edition uh, option so here you will find an option to install mongodb community server which is open source and free and just yeah here you can find the select package option click on it and it will give you the uh, version detail and platform and what is the package that you want to download so the car current version is 7.0.5 and i am uh, choosing platform as windows 64 and package is msi you can change it to zip as well if you want i'm okay with msi just i'm, I'm going uh, to download here so the download process is started let's wait and once it come, come, the download is complete, we will install. Now the download is complete. Just double click to start the installation. So it launched the uh, installer. Uh, click next and uh, just read through the license agreement and uh, click accept and then next. And uh, here you will ask for whether you need to do the setup on your own or you, you want to use some custom setup. So just cl cl click on the complete and, uh, and next is it will ask whether, uh, you know, it will show some details like whether you need to install MongoDB as a service or you want to run as a local or a domain user like that. And uh, the service name is MongoDB and data directory and log directory. So you can just simply verify uh, the path here and click next so the next thing is it will ask you to install mongodb compass or not here you will have one checkbox uh, which is for installing the mongodb compass so mongodb compass is like an uh, user interface to work with your uh, db or uh, your data uh, in an user interface provided by mongodb which is the mongodb compass so i want the uh, mongodb compass because i prefer mongodb compass uh, when compared to working with mongodb in a command line interface using mongodb shell so later in this video i will also show how you can uh, install mongodb shell and work with your mongodb in the uh, command prompt so I'm, I'm continuing and click next and install so it will take some time to complete the installation process So let's wait. Uh, so the installation process is complete and it will, yeah, it has opened the MongoDB compass. So you can see it's a local host and you can connect and uh, we can uh, see the uh, different data types here like admin, config and local. Uh, you can also create one database here. Uh, you can give the name as uh, products or something, something you can, whatever you can want. And if you want a collection, uh, you can also give a collection name and then create DB. So we have a products database created and as well as a product uh, collection we have created. And you can also insert an uh, data or import and data into uh, your DB through this user interface so yeah that's what i mentioned like you it's a simple tool using which you can work with your db and as well as your data so now let's see how you can work with your uh, mongodb in command prompt so to uh, you know to, to begin with you need to set up first one is you have to add your uh, mongodb program a path into a, into your system environment variable and the next thing is you have to 
install mongodb shell uh, which is a mongodb tool to work in the command line interface so let's c drive and in the program files and you will have one mongo directory here mongodb and go to server 7.0 and bin so just simply copy this part now in the search search for environment environment uh, system environment variable open it and uh, in advanced tab in the environment variables in the path here in the system variables path just double click and uh, add a new path here which is for mongodb click ok click ok and then ok now open the command prompt And here check the MongoDB version MongoD space hyphen hyphen version it will return you uh, the MongoDB version which is 7.0.0 now we have the uh, first setup which is ready now the next step is to install the MongoDB shell now for that open your browser again and simply search for uh, MongoDB shell uh, click on the very first link and uh, you will find an option to download here like mongodb shell uh, version is 2.1.1 and it's for platform windows uh, 64 and then package i will select msi and then i will download so let's wait uh, till this download is complete and then we will install mongodb shell and also i will show you how you can uh, work with uh, mongodb and your data in command line so then no, now the download is complete just double click to start the installation so this is mongodb shell setup wizard click next it will ask you whether it's just for you or for uh, all the user so i'm just proceeding with all the user click next and install so it will install the mongodb shell yeah now the mongodb shell setup is complete click finish now back to the command prompt so we have the first setup and uh, it's ready and also we have installed the mongodb shell now simply uh, type mongo sh type mongo sh yeah so this will open the connection yeah it has opened the connection now uh, you can play with your uh, db like you can create read or uh, delete whatever you want so first you have to go to that specific db so let me uh, check for the dbs so you can see right like i have created one db products db in through mongo db compass and uh, here i can see the uh, dbs when i search with uh, when i you know uh, show dbs when i execute the show dbs command it also displayed whatever the dbs that i have newly created so to use that db just so simply use command like use products now we just switch to the products db so here you can create a new collection okay, sorry uh, let me just create collection yeah the new collection is created so that's how you can you know uh, create install mongodb and as well as mongodb compass and as well as mongodb shell to work with uh, mongodb and your data so that's all uh, hope you have enjoyed this video uh, if you have liked this video please hit the like button and also subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day bye